Join me in this video as we take a look at this still go anywhere Explorer yacht that is currently listed for sale with the Volk Yacht Brokers. If you are looking for a liveaboard long range motor yacht, then this could be the boat for you. This Explorer yacht was built in 1978 as an exploration yacht for an owner with a background in the offshore industry. So the entire vessel is built with the same attention to safety and seaworthiness as a commercial seagoing vessel. I doubt very much that there's many sea states that this steel boat could not take on. Especially considering that her steel hull's thickness varies from 8 to 10 millimeters. She is like a steel wave beating battering ram, precisely what you need when you are confronted with that storm at sea which no engine power is going to get you away from. Even the rubbing strake on her S bilge shaped hull is steel. Before we find out more about this unique vessel, including checking out her engine room and her raised pilot house, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It takes less than two seconds and really helps the channel out. The vessel has a length overall of 19.2 meters, a beam of 4.85 meters and a draft of 2.2 meters. Her displacement is 70 tons and shipyard Delec built her to a design by DLH Smith and A Volker. Her wide side decks and plentiful grab rails contribute to this boat's overall high safety standards. Navigating around the upper deck is easy and without fuss. As you will see in a minute when we look at the interior spaces of this boat, her sizable tempered glass windows let lots of natural light fill up her living areas. Meanwhile, her raised bow with flared gunnels keeps sea spray to a minimum when the boat finds itself in choppy seas. Note also the non-skid paint on the deck. On the coach roof of her house is where we find two skylights and two life rafts. And when you stand up here and look forward, you get a good view of the profile of the raised bow with its flared gunnels reminiscent of a North Sea fishing boat. I really love the shape and layout of the canoe-shaped stern on this Explorer yacht. The location of the large bollards means the lines are really easy to work and again, the deck is finished with a non-slip coating. The wooden boom also gives the boat a distinctive motor sailor look. On the transom we find the stainless steel davits and the boat's rigid inflatable tender with its 20 horsepower Honda outboard. And now join me as we step inside this stunning Explorer yacht. As you enter the pilot house from the cockpit, you pass an L-shaped seating arrangement on the port side. The saloon is encapsulated with large windows, meaning lots of natural light can be found in this area. As we head forward, we find the helm position to port with a door to starboard that leads down into another dining area and the galley, which we will take a look at in a minute. But first, let us take a closer look at the helm position. As you would expect with any Explorer yacht, the helm is kitted out with all of the essential navigation and safety equipment that you would wish to find on any boat. Her digital charts are displayed on this large Samsung monitor. She has a Navitron NT921 Mark II autopilot. She's also fitted with an electric bow and stern thruster. The boat also has two radars, a Simrad glass bridge depth sounder, an AIS transceiver, a man overboard transmitter and a searchlight. And now let us descend into the lower saloon where we also find the galley via this door that is found to the starboard side of the helm position. As we enter this area we find a U-shaped seating area to port with a large flat screen TV on the bulkhead. I love the clean and cosy feel of this area, it really is inviting. The fully equipped galley is beautifully finished with all of the amenities which you would expect to find 
in a galley on a much larger vessel. I also love the brass portholes. Next we come to the accommodation. There are two cabins, one double and a twin single. The full beam master cabin has lots of space with ample natural light. The master cabin even has a walk-in wardrobe. It's worth pointing out that the current owners are using the vessel as a liverboard. The master cabin also has a sizeable ensuite with twin sinks. I really like the simple yet elegant decor. There's also a decent sized shower with a rainhead fitting. Next we come to the twin single cabin. It doesn't yet have its own toilet system installed, but this can be easily done. The vessel also has a decent sized utility room with sink and of course a washing machine and dryer. And now let us take a look in the engine room. She's powered by a single Caterpillar 250 horsepower engine that has 8,200 running hours. Thanks to her 10,000 litre steel fuel tank, when motoring at her cruising speed of around eight knots, then the boat has an impressive range of 3,500 nautical miles. She also has a secondary get home engine, which is a 45 horsepower book engine. I also love the fact that the engine room even has enough space for a workbench. Something that is really handy to have when you're venturing off on those long distance voyages. At the time of making this video, the boat is listed for sale with the Volk Yacht Brokers for 585,000 euros. She is exempt from VAT. If you want to find out more about the boat, then I will leave a link in the video description that will take you to the listing brokers website. And let me know in the comments below what you think about this capable vessel. If you haven't already, then please make sure you subscribe to my channel because tomorrow I'm flying up to Scotland to shoot some footage aboard this brand new trawler yacht. That will be one video you will not want to miss. If you want to stay up to date with the trip, then follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link to my Instagram account in the video description. As ever, I'd like to say a massive thank you to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel. If you'd like to become a member of my channel, then click on the link in the video description or click on the join button that appears underneath the video. Please don't forget to give the video a like and also to check out the video recommendation in the top left hand corner because it's one of my videos that YouTube thinks you will love. Also, don't forget to check out my other playlists and also to subscribe to my new hobby channel. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.